on September 11, 2011, the 10th anniversary of September 11, at the church they had a private ceremony that I was invited to, and there was some media there, but it wasn't open to just everybody. Um, and at that event, they were burning a Quran, and they were also burning a U.S. flag, and they put them into the same fire pit and set them on fire at the same time. And they um, let lots of press releases people know that they were going to do these two things. And outside, there was a, there's a four-stop um, sign corner by the church. Outside, there were counterpicketers. So I went to interview the counterpicketers. And on one side of the street is a very brave group of Muslim women, clearly identified because of their clothing as Muslim. And they had come to say, um, Islam is a religion of peace. Um, you know, the attacks of September 11th don't represent our religion. And you should be respectful of the Quran. And they were passive. Uh, protesters, they weren't creating a ruckus. They were staying on one corner. On another corner were these college students, kind of hip young men, um, saying it's okay to be gay and we shouldn't make such a fuss about people being gay and we should accept gay people. And then on the other corner was a group of um, military families whose sons and daughters were in active duty military and they were carrying gigantic U.S. flags. And then the other corner was Westboro Baptist Church. Westboro Baptist Church is outnumbered but you have these three groups of people who actually can't stand on the same corner together because these Muslim women are not okay with gay rights. And these, generally speaking, these folks who are um, supportive of the U.S. military, certainly not everybody, but these people in particular were not supportive of gay rights or of Muslims. In fact, one of the fathers said it's perfectly acceptable to set the Quran on fire, you know, but it's blasphemy to burn the U.S. flag. And then our young men who, um, were pro-gay rights, you know, they're saying, well, we don't really support the war, right? We don't support the war in Iraq, the war in Afghanistan, but we support our soldiers, um, and we support, you know, the right of people to be Muslim, but it's not like Muslims in general are going to be very supportive of gay rights, and they couldn't, they couldn't stand together. And I think that shows us in some ways how Westboro Baptist wins.